GTI fans, welcome back to another series of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we're here today doing the public release of the anniversary edition of Empyrean Galactic Survival, and that is 8.5. Uh, we are going to do the temperate start this time, and um, we are going to try and... We're going to try and get to the end of um, the Robson Protocol. Now they've added a bunch to it. So we, we were in a time crunch. Um, I got to try and get this done in a couple weeks. I don't know if I can. My life has been chaotic in the past couple weeks. So hopefully it'll ease off and let me kind of get some recordings in here. And <laughs> uh, so. Having said that, we're going to start off. Uh, here's a good one here. Gravity 0.51. So, woo, half gravity. Uh, pretty minimal temperature. Not really hot, not really too cold. So, too not too bad. Uh, we should be able to survive that. <clears throat> no radiation. Typical stuff for temperate. Um, not too bad for atmospheric density, too. So, the, that'll make it easier for um, uh, fuel propel, propellant of whatever, like so, like your bullets and um, cannon fire, uh, except for turrets that are energy weapons, basically. Energy weapons aren't really affected by atmospheric density, but everything else is, so you get a shorter range on your weapons, the higher that number is. Um, well, let's get right to this. Uh, I want to, we'll, we'll use this seed and the name is uh, Marindio. Uh, I'm not really sure why I rolled the R there and said it all weird. Marindio? Why did I roll the R again? It almost seems like I have to. It's like a romantic word. Uh, huh, okay, well, hey, I kind of want to crash land on Marindio, right? So let's do this. We're going to change this, though. Um, let's actually fire up the critters a bit here. Get them on, uh, on all hard and high. And we're going to change the craft speed, though. We're going to crank that up. I'm gonna crank that up. This is no Iron Man. I just want to. Uh, the rest of this we can probably just leave on medium and normal for all the survival sort of stuff. I'm not gonna go through that. I, I think I've established myself as somebody able to survive the difficulties of this game start, and that's not really what this is about right now. So let's uh, actually let's crank this up. You know what? Let's just make this really easy to get mats. Uh, we'll even turn off the uh, spawn limit. I don't care about auto miners. Whatever. Let's um, <clears throat> that looks all good. That looks good. That looks good. Let's do it. And we'll use that seed. We'll name this uh, this is going to be alpha 8.5 Should we add temperate? Yeah, let's add temperate. And that looks good to me. Uh, we'll, we'll be going with this seed, 1185.16. I like those stats, so we'll just leave it there and go. We'll run with it. Uh, I like the name, too. Sounds romantic, right? Like it should be said in some sort of romantic accent. So, yeah. Those, are, those were my settings there. And let's go for it. Okay, so once, you know, the planets load, maybe, I'll just, you know, casually have something to drink as my guy runs for his life out of an exploding CV and jumps in his escape pod. And here we go. 
Okay, so what I'm looking for is, well, it doesn't really matter. I'm doing the Robson Protocol. It's going to tell me where to go. That early. It's going to tell me where to go. And I can see some, like, wreckages over that way anyway. It's looking like. So let's head over there. <coughs> So there's a small wreckage. I can see what looks like a small wreckage over there. So this is all the typical, um, you yeah, know, there's another one up there. Yay, we leveled just by falling out of the sky. Yeah, that doesn't matter so much. Although, now, to make a... Here, actually, you know what? Let's just... Let's just crash here and grab this thing's goodies. Okay, so let's wait for the... Any time here. Here we... So, this is the Robson Protocol start here. And if you skip it... Uh, you you can't do it again. I think if you hit ec or escape right now, you can. But if you escape, you get nothing. I don't think so. We're gonna do the let's go. We just get the normal loadout, and it's telling us to check the pod inventory. We can do that by hitting F while looking at it. And we're gonna grab that one purify water. And now it says check our suit inventory. So I'm gonna pan back and let you have a look at the avatar um, so we start in some space pajamas that are have a magical constructor in them that can make things and it runs off our body heat pretty cool eh? so yeah um, it doesn't actually protect us at all from anything in the environment it's just basically light clothing with a factory built into them okay d don't judge don't don't judge it's just it's cool okay trust me so <clears throat> let's get this thing going uh we want to check the suit inventory we're going to hit tab uh right away we want to go into probably the survival constructor portion so this is our stats you can see we're not we're not actually wearing armor it's just called the interior suit so you know kind of like your pajamas or you know underwear right interior suit so so we've got our space ganch on and it's got a factory in it don't judge it's cool right we've got we've got a Ginch constructor right here. I think it's awesome. This is a super great addition that they've done in Alpha 8. And um, I'm glad they haven't removed it in the Anniversary Edition. I was, I was worried that they're going to... Oh, you know what? We don't even need to make that. That's right. It starts us with it now. So let's do that. Uh, who cares? It didn't cost us anything to make a second one. So we can like throw it at something. No, we can't. We can throw it away. <clears throat> okay, so what should we do? Let's check out some of these here. We've got some cargo boxes. We're going to take all those very good stuff right at the beginning. And nice. So the antibiotic pills are actually a pretty good find right off the bat. Nice. Okay. Uh, it wants us to open our PDA and check the log file. So we can go into the PDA by hitting F1, and right away we've already, you know, completed a couple things here. It wants us to check the personal log file. So that's right here, and it wants us to read this. Okay, the pop-up has to get out of the way, or we can't read it. Okay, good enough. I've read it. <laughs> we, if trust me, if you want to read it. There you go, you can screenshot that. Go ahead. Um, right now we're just gonna get out of this and it's gonna update. And then it's gonna tell us to go do 
stuff while it thinks about stuff. Uh, no, actually, the first 24 hours of the game are very critical. What you want to do is you, you want to gather as much resources as you can and as quick as possible before the baddies start showing up. Now, they made it a little bit easier with the starting biome because baddies don't actually spawn in the starting biome and there's lots of food and lots of stuff to kill so you can level. So, hmm. It, they did make it a little bit Care Bear-ish at the beginning. Um, now they it was like that with the with the arid start planet too. Uh, that was my previous series, and I didn't really have it wasn't much of a challenge. And I mean, you know, last Alpha Seven was all about the Omicron. You know, hard start craziness, right? So, eh, this was not as bad once they. What am I? Where am I going? There's the wreck. So, it's, I'm not even a kilometer away, so I'm heading in the right direction anyway as I babble on here. Max, see, you know, my, my stupid dumb luck gets me to where. I, don't run away! Come back! No! Oh, saved him. Okay, so there's a few things that I need to do. I need to get to at least level three. Or, pfft. You know, I, I completely suck if I don't do that. Okay, we're going to grab some of these uh, logs here from these. Uh, if you guys didn't know, these things actually give me a logs. They're just really tough, they're, they're, and they don't yield that well. These things also give you logs. These usually die quicker and give, a, a on average, like one more. So, meh. Some herbal leaves. So those are good for, well, you know, anything you can set your mind to about herbal stuff. Okay, um, we're going to tickle this thing with some defensive ray, make it wiggle and jiggle while we, there we go, it's not a weeble, it does fall down, that probably just aged me, do they still make weebles, I have no idea. Okay, uh, I guess we're swimming. We're swimming, so let's get rid of our stuff in our hand. We can do that by hitting O, and then we can just surface and swim. Now, you can see it's really cold in the water, though. Woo! We're going to freeze to death, so let's get out of there. There. Now, we can, once we level, we can choose to... Um, I don't really want to run anywhere because it really eats up your uh, it really eats up your food and stamina when you're running and yeah we don't need to do that so all these plants a bunch of them I can actually process you know what we're just gonna trash that right now that was just don't need that um, how much of that so we can make a few energy so let's just crank on the energy bars we're gonna end up needing it because as we burn up our stamina it it drains our food even faster um, I mean that's fine that's that's a valid way of balancing it so that you you have to it you have to really be mindful you can't just like be running around like a madman frying your stamina all the time without without paying attention to your food too because your food's just going to crank down when you do that so now those things will actually attack you if you're close to them when you um, like mine a rock so you got to be careful I'm not sure if I'd be too close right there I think it, it has to be really close to you but we could 
I, I don't want to test it. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, we're on defense mode. Oh yeah, that was rock mode. Okay, so defense mode is red, rock mode is white. Rock, white, defense, red. Okay. I'll forget instantly. Ooh, silicone. Sorry, that was... I dare to say orgasmic, but... Silicone is actually really hard to find right off the bat before you've actually got a drill. And so picking up these rocks is really important because eventually we're going to be able to make a drill using... Uh, just rocks too because we can turn that into silicone or copper or iron if we need it but usually we don't need copper and iron although I haven't really come across a lot so that's a little disconcerting I might have to run back into the starting biome a bit and... but that's okay we can go get a motorcycle first from the wreckage now it doesn't matter if I had taken the Robson protocol or not. If I had taken, if I didn't take the Robson protocol, it would have just dumped a bunch of gear on me right off the bat. It would have given me, I would have got a drill. I would have got a, uh, a mobile or sorry, a portable constructor and a, and a, a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and so fair enough because you don't get all the stuff from the Robson protocol. So they're, they're giving you a bunch of gear right off the bat. That's cool. I, that, that's fine and all dandy. But uh, I think I want to experience the content that they've added, right? I think everyone wants to see that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab everything we can here. We're not going to necessarily cut down every single tree because, you know, the big frickin' planet. I only need a couple. How many logs do I have already? I've got four. That's enough to make eight biofuel. Basically, the count is, when it comes down to it, it's, it's two biofuel per log. Because each log can be broken down into uh, 20 fiber. And it requires 10 fiber to make a biofuel so saying there's a personal locker so we're gonna go check that out Woohoo! personal locker okay okay and we, somewhere there they are down, down there there we go can we get to them yeah Nice. So there we go. We're going to get a portable constructor, a motorbike, more purify water, and some sprouts. So that's awesome. Let's grab those. Now we need to make a drill. So I don't have what's going to take to make a drill, am I? So what? Iron, silicone. Oh, I'm, I'm just shy. I think... You know what? I think I might just perfectly have the perfect amount to make a drill. So let's do this. That's awesome. I already picked up enough to make a drill. Uh, we're going to put down our portable constructor right here and now. We're just going to lay this out. We're going to go into it. We're going to put um, that, that, and that, and that in there. This should a lot. Yep. There it is. Drill. Let's make it. So you can see it ate up the 15 stone because if you see here, it costs 15 crushed stone to make one silicone ore. We got lucky on the way here. We found that. That's why I was saying, oh, I freaked out about the, the, the chunk of silicone that I found there because that's, that's usually rare. I never find a chunk of silicone on the way to the wreckage. So I got all excited, you know had to share okay so 
once this is made, we also need to make some biofuel. I know this is kind of boring watching this, but we'll load up. You know what? We'll just make a couple. We'll make a couple. Because it just takes so freaking long. So that's awesome. We got ourselves a drill. And we'll have some biofuel here going. And what's our time at? So we've still got four. We're at four and a half, almost five minutes left of daylight. We're going to be able to ride, ride off. We didn't get very much food, though, did we? But we're okay there. I think we're going to be okay because we picked up some more. And we can make some more here. So let's make what we can. I should probably actually, I should have probably tried to turn that into some meds. That's okay. We'll pick up some more. Okay, and uh, it's getting there. Okay, so while it does that, uh, now I gotta wait for it. I'm gonna need the two. I can reset up camp once we move over, but uh, well, reset up the portable constructor anyway. Not, not necessarily camp, so to speak, but. And we're going to grab all that stuff again, and we're going to pick this up. Okay, so now we're going to head off to, let's figure this out. Uh, well, the iron is the obvious one. We're going to head to that one first, and then we're going to backtrack to the others, and then come back into the starting biome, because we suck. No, I just, I don't feel like doing the grindy look over in my back all the time right now. I just want to get the the uh, Robs and Protocol stuff done. And so let's get our, let's get some gear. So the iron's over there, let's go. We need mats to make stuff. And the three basic mats are iron, copper, and silicone. Those are, we can actually make a hover vessel out of that. Uh, we could probably even make a, maybe not, but I think we can even make a cheap SV out of it too, but I want to put my motorcycle down. And we're going to throw that in the hot bar. We're going to select that, put that down, jump on, and ride. Motorcycle is improved, hill climbing, turning, uh, it's still... It still sucks. It's still not as good as an HV. And it and it never will be. They never want it to be. So don't ever expect it to be. And I don't blame them. It shouldn't be because, you know, hover vehicles should be awesome. Um, I think I'm going to need to cut this stupid tree down. No, maybe not. We'll set up over here. That's fine. Actually, I do need to cut a tree down anyway. You know what? We will cut this down. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. Let's do it. Going to here for starters. We'll get some more going. Okay. And I'll just quickly cut this down. Throw it out in there to cook. Whatever I get, hopefully it's a good amount. Five, wow. Okay. Awesome. I'm going to launch my drone by hitting the F5 button. You can launch your drone as long as you're in an area that allows you to la launch your drone. So out in the open like this, no problem. Um, multiplayer servers in uh, in close proximity to an enemy, em, enemy POI, you can't, unless the regen is turned off. Okay, so let's do this. I'm gonna tab in and out just to get my radar back really quickly and then we're going to dive down, we're going to select our drill, 
and we're going to change it to ground drill and we're going to start drilling. We'll let it auto load the uh, first fuel into it. I would suggest never hitting reload with your fuel propelled devices uh, uh, tools because you can waste goodly sums of fuel that are already in the tool so just let the auto load do it and then then you chances are it won't screw you up If you're really bit bad at hitting uh, the reload button by accident, you can always just turn that right off too. But uh, it kind of sucks if you're not auto reloading properly or something. You're like, come on, load! Or you're at like one bullet and you need to jump around the corner and shoot four guys. It's just, it's like, oh, really? <laughs> So, it's nice to have that reload button, trust me. But for mining, mm, regular tool use, meh. Okay, so this is really boring. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be running around and um, mining out those three deposits. So I'm going to go mine those out. I'm going to run around, mine those out. And then once I'm done, I'm going to grab you guys and we're going to head, head on the motorcycle back into the uh, easy zone, pick some flowers and find a spot to... Uh, to set up a real camp. So uh, I will grab you once I've mined a bunch of mines and it's really boring. So I don't want to bore you guys. Be back in a bit. Okay, brought you guys back uh, before I finished mining. I just wanted to point out that I am dealing with a little bit of survival stuff. Like right now, the temperature's dropping. Uh, you can see there's six minutes left. I've done. I've mined out uh, what I want to of two out of three of the deposits now. Uh, right around here is a swampy area and I'm going to be picking a bunch of stuff now. So, But you can see the temperature is dropping and that's a little bit worrisome. I have raised a level so let's take a look at our tree here. I think what we should do is go into our miscellaneous and take our portable heater cooler. Let's unlock that and let's make that. Should have the mats on me. Yep. Yep. It's right there. Let's do that. So we can also unlock the uh, portable constructor if we want to and make another one of those once we get some more silicone ore. Uh, we can hold off on that for right now. This is more of a need to, to do right off the bat. <laughs> Yeah, considering that we are slowly getting colder, we will slowly, as the temperature drops, we will get colder faster. So, um, for instance, let's say if it was negative 100 out, we'd already be like chilled. We'd be like too cold and starting to get like hypothermia type thing. So, um Right now, it's just taking forever because we're only a few degrees away from comfort level. But it is getting colder out. So or you can see our body temperature just dropped down to 23 instead of from 25. 
So let's see if it's finished. It's finished. Okay, good. What we can do, I'm going to show you what this does really quick. Throw it down. It actually has a little light. It doesn't require any power, a power source at all. It just works. You just throw it down. That's all it does. It emits light, but it also neutralizes the temperature up or down by 25 degrees, I believe, either way. So if it's too cold or too hot out, you can throw that down and it'll either bring up the temperature or lower the temperature in the area right around it. And so it can become survivable. So see now, um, the temperature around this thing is 25 degrees. The outside temperature is 11 and my body temperature is 25 degrees. So technically, I think this could go down to uh, before the ambient temperature dropped around it. I think it would have to go down to like negative something then, right? And if I can normally withstand 15 degrees, that would mean... It would have to drop. It would actually have to drop to uh, um, what negative fifteen then? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, that's how that works. We'll just pick that up. Let's grab the stuff out of here. I already did. Okay, we're going to pick that up. Time is a ticking now. And so we're going to just quickly pick some of this. Oops, come on. Come on. Let's get rid of that. That's very annoying in front of us. Okay, so we'll just pick stuff up as we go. Uh, where are we going? Over to the silicone right there. We just I just want to pick a couple things. A little bit more food. I know we can get some more in the starting biome, and that's all fine and dandy. But uh, and I also want to get some of the trees for some more biofuel. We've got four and a half minutes. We're doing okay. We really the silicone is the last thing we need before heading back to the uh, starting area. So we're okay. We're okay. The silicone's like right there. By the way, on your first night, do not use your tent. Spend the night mining. Are you crazy? Do not use your tent on the first night. Pro tip. Do not use your tent on the first night or sleep in any way on the first night. Tent or otherwise. Just crazy. Uh, obviously, uh, if you're on multiplayer that's already... Uh, been up a while then you're screwed anyway so it doesn't matter <laughs> but uh, let's grab some of the stuff before we head over the silicone okay so we should have enough wood now what, what do we got on us nine yeah that's I just want enough to make uh, see here's a iron rock there we go so. there we go we're we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So now that we get over here, see it's really cold. And we normally wouldn't be able to do it in our PJs because they're just, you know, they're not insulated at all. Uh, here, let's put our stuff down over here. So we'll set up shop here. Get this going. And then we want stand right here so we'll just stand here beside it and we'll spot our drone and you can see our body temperature we're safe again so that's awesome okay let's get our drill out and we'll just find the closest it's not gonna get any closer So, uh, 
Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys to death with this. I will come grab you guys once I'm done mining this. And then um, we'll meet back at the starting biome, starter, whatever they call it. Starting zone. Starting biome, starter biome, starter biome. Uh, anyway, I'll meet you back there and we'll look for a spot to live. See you in a bit. Okay, there's just a minute left here, so let's be done with this mining stuff for now. Uh, let's check out and see what we've got here. Okay, pretty good haul. We've got uh, over 200 silicone, over 200, oh, look at that, identical amount. That's kind of funny, and over 200 iron, so perfect. Um, we've reached the first goal. That was to hit, and uh, get enough, or to make an HV with that will definitely be enough or easily. Um, the next step was to get enough food. I don't think we do yet, but that's, the starter biome was really easy. The next thing is, did we get third level? Yes, we're almost fourth level. In fact, we're actually kind of need fifth level. So we're gonna, once we get to the starting area again, we're gonna need to grind a bit more on food. So we didn't reach necessarily our ideal level yet, and we're gonna have to work on that. And it's getting cold out. So let's grab our stuff. Let's grab our stuff. Okay. And let's check out our map here. We're gonna head back down here. Um, Water's pretty close to that one, isn't it? We'll head back to where the escape pod is. We'll check out this one on the way, though. Did we check that one? I don't think we did. Let's go there. Okay, so small wreckage that way. We should be able to just bike it all the way there. So let's do it. We're warm right now, but we're going to get cold. So we got a boogie. Cover some ground here. Well, it's warm enough here anyway. Well, not really. Well, sort of. <laughs> On and off. Okay, we're in the starter biome, so we're we're safe with like a minute or an hour, I guess, game hour to spare. Uh, but it is super cold though. Wow. So you can see we wouldn't be able to withstand this for very long if we didn't have our heater cooler. So let's grab this stuff, that's cool. Um, let's check our map really quick here. This one's a little far. I wanna go to the where the escape part it, pot is, or even just down to the water right here. Let's head straight to the direction we're facing. Come on. I'm trying to get the bike out there. So this looks like an interesting area. It's like the starter biome, swamp edge, I like it. I like it. Although this... Hmm. Let's hear it. Let's get rid of our bike. And see, it keeps it keeps our light on now. Is that awesome? I love that. That was, uh, that was a while ago. That was like an experimental or something, I think. In an um, in Alpha 8 experimental, not 8.5. So we're just gonna grab some of the stuff laying around. Um, nothing should spawn close enough to us to that we have to really, whoops, I didn't want that, I want rock, rock. there we go. Come on. Okay. And yeah, we should be just fine. So we need, we need some levels here. I'm not gonna attack those things with my starter 
um, survival tool because it does hardly any damage. And remember, critters are on hard mode, so they're going to hit hard. And they're going to take forever to kill. So hitting it with the wimpiest weapon in the game, eh, no thanks. And then I'd have to chase them without a jetpack and nah, 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 it's just, it just sounds like it really sucks. Lots of little, lots of, um, it looks like slimes down there. There's lots of these cricket things, these, whatever they are. Oh, new day. So... Technically, around the world, predators are spawning. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, we might see something come out of the water here. I don't think so, though. I think we're just too close to the, to the starter biome. I think we're too close to the starter, starter biome. That's just all there is to it. Um, do I want that bubbly noise? Yeah, let's turn let's turn the ambient up. We'll take a look to see what this sounds like because. <laughs> sounds like sounds like when you have gas in a bathtub ah <laughs> uh, yeah no now on second thought I'm not sure if I want to live in a swamp <laughs> Maybe I'll just put I'll just put uh, some water generators there. I think uh, maybe I'll go take over one of these wrecks or something. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. Yeah. Don't want farty tub noises. No thanks. This is actually kind of cool with the escape pod like right here. So let's. It's not very flat though, is it? It actually kind of sucks for flatness. Although I could I could expand out. I wonder what would happen with the escape pod right there if I could actually. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I could put the flat area out here, on here. You know what? Let's do it. I think this is fine. This is close enough to water that we can put generators out. Yeah, I like it. It's good enough. It's good enough. We can run around and get some uh, food. So I'm going to leave it off here back at the escape pod. So not bad. I think we got a good haul. Let's check it out. Another reason why this is two cargo boxes here that we can make use of right now for a bunch of our crap. Uh, so what I mean is the stuff we just can't use right now. Um, radiation, don't really need it. I'm going to use the tent right now. Okay, the rest of the stuff we can use. So, I made some meds when I was stopped to mine. Let's put down... We'll just get this stuff in here. I'm just going to put it all in here for now. Oops. Anything that I can use to make stuff with. Okay. So, can we make any? Yeah, we can make some more stuff. So, germal burn, frostbite, open wound, necrosis, infected wound, necrosis, open wound. 
dermal burn and frostbite. So this does more. So let's do that. Looks like we can do that a couple times. And we also need to get, so I've, I looted two. I No, I looted one. I made two now or whatever. I made one at least. So now this would be more of them. So I could only make two. Okay, that's fine. That's better than letting that stuff spoil. And then the plant protein. Uh, I mean, we... Wow, we've got no logs left. I actually made it all, turned it all in a biofield. Okay. So... Okay. Um, well, that was kind of silly. I don't know why I did that. But that's okay. I can go get more. That's fine. In the meantime, what we're going to do is we are going to get a core made. And we're going to make a bunch of concrete. So what do we got? We got 50. We can make 100 concrete blocks. So we'll get that going. Okay. I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, next episode, um, to tell you the truth, I don't even know if I'll use the core right now. I don't really need to. I can just throw, I can just start building, I guess. Although I could turn this into a base. You know what? We'll have a live active base for once. Let's, that's fine. We'll, we'll make a base here. Why not? Why not? It's a stupid choice, but why not? <laughs> Actually, let's see. Where where are we? We are... Is that Southern Hemisphere or is that Northern Hemisphere? It looks like it might be... Northern Hemisphere. Okay, so... Hmm, more like Equator, really. Eh. We'll do okay for power, for solar power, but we're, it's not going to be ideal. We could always make, relocate. I think we'll make a very basic base here on a pad. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, until then, guys, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.